everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw this really cute butterfly doodle. And if you haven't watched my planner doodle video, go ahead and check that out because I show you all of the doodles on these pages, and there's quite a few. All you'll need for this doodle is a piece of blank paper. I usually use computer paper, or you can, you know, do it in your planner. You'll need a pencil and probably an eraser, and this is a big mini mechanical pencil and I like using these. And then you'll either need colored pencils or markers. I like Crayola the best. Just saying. The first step of drawing the butterfly, I usually draw the head first. So you're just going to make an oval shape on your paper. And I like to draw with pencil. You can draw with marker or pen if you're comfortable with that. Move on to this body, which it's kind of an oval ish but it's like elongated and curved so you're just going to duplicate that shape and draw it under the head move on to this big wing it's pretty much a heart shape without the point at the end make the top one a little bigger than the bottom and you can actually make the wings any shape that you want but this is usually the one that I do for this butterfly. Go ahead and make this little partial wing at the top and all you're going to do for that is start somewhere in the middle of the head and just kind of curve it over and let it meet at the top of the other wing. You can put any spots in the wings that you want then draw the eyes in. So make a circle inside this first oval of the head that you did. Make sure that you leave a little dot inside for the white spot, which gives it a little bit of character and life because you don't want your butterfly to just have solid black eyes. On the left side, you're going to add kind of a half oval shape for the other eye. And remember to put the white spot in that as well. Then you can add any smile that you would like if you want to. And I usually put three little lines on for the body just inside like those ones and the final step is to draw the antenna so it's just two kind of curvy lines at the top of the head and I usually add a little circle to the top of each of those here is the butterfly that I just sketched start with your lightest colors first so I would suggest coloring in the body and usually what I do is I kind of outline with the color. This marker's running out. Darn it! You can go ahead and color right over the mouth. Don't color anything inside the eye. Um, so just go ahead again and you can outline the wings. Now if you're doing this in marker and you're using a significantly darker color than the body, make sure you wait for the body to dry a little because markers can bleed into each other if they're both really wet still. And if you're using a color that's darker than the pencil marks underneath, you might want to go over the line for the wings a couple of times just so it looks like there's two wings so you can tell there's a dividing line there. Then I just like go around these shapes and decide what colors you want your designs to be. Fill those in after the wing color dries a little. Then it's time for your black and I'm not sure if I have any black markers that have ink in them still. They run out of ink so quickly. So I'm going to use this Pilot G2 gel pen. So I'm going to go over the mouth, go over the outline of this eye, and make sure you keep the white circle in the eye. It will make it look alive. And you can even outline in pens because if you were to outline in, say, a skinny black Crayola marker, the chance of it bleeding into the other colors is a lot greater then this pen doing that and then just go ahead and draw over the antenna line and fill in the top circle of each and then I usually go over some of the pencil lines again because I don't want it to be all outlined in black if you decide you want to do that that's fine but that's just not the style I'm going for there is the final butterfly drawing all colored in and it looks quite similar to this one, just a little bigger. 
You can use any colors you want. Remember to color these in and you don't have to follow my exact wing shape. And then you can make it look like it's flying by adding little dashy lines. And you can add words to it to make it a cute doodle. Thank you guys so much for watching and leave me comments. Add my official Facebook and add me on Twitter, Tumblr, Formspring, and Daily Booth. All those links are in the down bar. The refrigerator just turned on. Go check out my Etsy shop. And you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon. Bye. And here's that leaf that I drew with colored pencil and a big close-up of it. I used Crayola colored pencils for it. It took over an hour. It's okay, but I haven't drawn in forever, so it could be better.